Hi Cancer and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. We're going to take a look at and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So once again this reading here is intended for Cancer Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and also those of you cross watching as well. Okay, the Two of Cups here. Something is coming together for you here, Cancer. It's coming together beautifully and effortlessly. The Queen of Swords. The Fool. Ace of Swords, the Hermit here, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you've got an interesting co um, combination of cards here. I will keep shifting to the side, I wonder. Okay, some of you, I feel like some of you are ready to take the next step, whether it's in love, in romance, or um, some of you, I feel like there is a friendship here, someone whom you have a very close friendship, very close emotional connection. Now, you have feelings for them, you have romantic feelings for them. I feel like this person here is mirroring to me because this is like a soulmate, like a soul energy. I feel like this person mirrors what you feel. Um, and notice, even when you're around with this person, if you pay close attention, a lot of the time they also mirror your body language, which is what happens when we're attracted to people um, as well. So I feel like someone here, especially for those of you that are involved in a friendship and you're wanting for this to be something more romantic, like you're wanting for this to blossom into a romantic connection here. And some of you, you're scared to come forward here because you're scared you're going to potentially jeopardize your friendship. But... I feel like the person that you are connected with, they feel very much the same. The two of you are vibrationally matched here, and I feel like your person's energy, they're coming up as someone who's reciprocating, okay? Someone who's essentially holding up a mirror to you. And I feel like for a lot of you Cancerians watching, and you are quite an intuitive um, energy, right? And I feel like you're, you already know this. You already know this. I feel like you're only, I'm probably only confirming what you already know or feel. And you are ready to take the next step, okay? Whether it means turning a friendship romantically, whether it means, you know, um, cementing a romantic connection, whether it means moving in together with someone, building on a connection, um, you know, getting engaged, proposing to someone, whatever the next step is for you, you're ready. I feel like you're ready, okay? You have been thinking about something for quite some time. You've given this a lot of thought, which tells me that there's no... It doesn't feel like there's an energy of rushing through anything. It just feels like there's been a lot of thought process behind it, and it feels like you and your person here are definitely mirroring each other's emotions, thoughts, and behavior patterns, and I definitely feel like the both of you are ready to take the next step, okay? Because both of you, I feel like... I'm not sure whether or not you've actually communicated to one another, but both of you have actually given this a lot of thought here. Queen of Swords here, she is encouraging direct communication. So some of you, I feel like there is an important conversation that needs to be had. Now, some of you listening here, this important conversation that needs to take place is one between you and a romantic energy, okay? The both of you have strong feelings for one another, but I feel like you're both doing this song and dance in which... You both feel like you're ready for something more than what you actually have or what, you know, is actually present right now, but neither of you are saying it. So some honest heart-to-heart -heart communication might just progress things for you, okay? Might just move things forward for you. So that's why I feel like the Queen of Swords here has popped up and she's encouraging for you to have that conversation, have that conversation that you've been scared and nervous to have here. Um... I'm also seeing that for some of you, there is a desire for you to find the truth in something. And I don't know what that's about. I don't know if you're, if there's someone here that you're actually involved with in which you feel like this person isn't being entirely honest with you and you feel like you need to find a truth here in a particular matter here. 
because the swords and especially the ace of swords here for a lot of you i feel like you want to gain some mental clarity or you just want some clarity on a situation maybe it's the situation you know where your friends you know you're more than friends but less than lovers you want to know what this is maybe it's you know you want to know how your person how your romantic energy is uh feeling about you i'm definitely seeing someone he wants to gain clarity here and the clouds that accumulate here in the background that to me symbolizes the the confusion the confusion or the distraction that someone he feels with regarding with regards to a situation again some really open honest conversation it's just going to clear the air so there is a conversation that you probably should have had a while ago because you wouldn't have this cloud built up right um you wouldn't have a lot of this confusion that you do now because you would have helped clear some of this confusion so i do encourage for you to go ahead and have that conversation you can still be scared still be nervous and do it anyways right um also be very flexible or be just very open to receiving a message here. I feel like some of you this week are going to receive some sort of message. It could be like a feedback as well. It could be like feedback from a romantic energy. Something that they say, it may hurt because I feel like there's a lot of truth. Okay, and the truth does hurt. The truth can hurt. But honestly, let me tell you that a gentle lie will probably hurt even more. So whatever it is that they say, no... Um, appreciate the fact that this person loves you enough to tell you how it is to call you act on it to sort of call you out on it okay um, what else okay I'm also seeing that with the fool's energy and the ace of swords some of you I feel like you need to cut ties or you need to be able to learn to walk away from someone or something which no longer serves like in your best interest or which no longer serves you in a positive way here so some of you i feel like you know maybe you're connected with certain energies here and they drain you okay or every time you're around this person it's just really exhausting if someone or something is causing you to feel in a negative way okay then i feel like some of you need to learn to cut ties i need to you need to learn to get up and walk away no to try and identify those people and identify you know the opportunity to do so here you're also, on, some of you are on the outset of a journey here because this is you standing on the edge. To me, it feels like a lot of you are about to, especially for those of you that are single, um, I feel like you're about to enter into a relationship where there is someone here who's going to come into your life who's going to prove to be a very worthy and a very compatible romantic suitor for others of you in a relationship. You're, I'm seeing the outset of this journey. So whatever this journey means for you here, you're about to embark here or you have started embarking on a journey here because you're literally standing, you know, at the cliff's edge here, right? <clears throat> Beginnings, new chapters here. Okay, also with the hermit's energy, I feel like some of you, I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing a journey. The, the hermit, I feel like, is echoing on from the fool. Some of you, I feel like, and here's the thing, Cancer, some of you are embarking on this journey alone, okay? And the reason why you're doing that is you had to, you have to leave certain people behind or you had to do it or you still have to do this. Um, and it may be painful and it may be difficult and challenging to do that, but it's important for you to know that certain people, they're not going on, the, you know, they're not destined to tread the path that you're destined to. They're not going to accompany you on your journey because they're not headed that way. Similarly, you know, you cannot accompany certain people on their journey because that's their journey and they must take it alone. They must take it individually. So this is what I get for you, Ken. So some of you, you do have a very special someone here whom you're going to be embarking this journey on and understand that that's your journey. For others of you, it's a journey you're going to have to take alone, okay? Um, and understand that that is your journey. And then, you know, once you become enlightened on this journey here, you will meet someone along your journey. So that's important for you to understand as well. So wherever you're at, whatever stage you're at, you're ready for the next step, okay? You're ready for the next, like you're ready to sort of leap, out, take the leap of faith, you know, and jump, jump off the cliff's edge. Of course, not literally speaking, but you know, you're ready to embark on this new chapter. Alrighty guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Um, otherwise, guys, feel free to check out my other tarot readings uploaded to my channel. Thanks again for your support. Bye for now.